Mr. Ben did it, but anyway, I'm here now. People was wanting to know the first week settlement, so I'm gonna go ahead and break that down in this video. I'm not go, I'm not gonna go into full detail of everything on the settlement, but just basically the basis, the net, the gross, and basically fuel. So we are gonna start out with the first load. A team had brought it into the terminal, and I finished it up with a total of 497 miles. You can see the estimated revenue. What we're gonna do is add up the estimated revenue because on some of these trips, I didn't even put fuel in because I gave myself a head start with my own personal little, what do I wanna say? With my own little personal finances or whatever. So we're just gonna calculate all the estimated revenue and minus stuff from that. And as y'all can see, that's the fuel surcharge and all that down there. And moving on to the second load, total of 1,028 miles, estimated revenue, $2,341. The third load was a total of 370 miles, $678. calculated it up yourself as you can see it's saying a few dollars more than what you calculated up but i forgot to mention in the video i did have some reimbursements like a trailer wash and like scale out tickets so that's why it's a few dollars more what was net to me where is it at i, I had everything in order Bills paid for for the month. I got everything I need. Food. I 
I got it here on the truck. And yeah, let me show y'all my setup back here. So here got my little meat area. I got my TV up. That's a 40 inch. I mounted it up myself to the, this truck already came with a mount, but I don't know if y'all can see it. Anyway, I put a swivel mount onto the mount that was already here. And I just used the screws to put into the holes that was already there. And here go my iMac. I got some Velcro tape on there, but whenever I get ready to drive, I just lay the computer on the bed. And whenever I stop, I just set my stuff back up, get ready to edit this video now. And yeah, as y'all can see, y'all still ain't even took the plastic off of the um carpet yet. I don't even think I'm gonna take it off. So far, so good. I'm loving the truck. Still ain't took none of the plastic off up there. I ain't even pulled that down yet. There's plenty of room in here. I love the curtains closed up there. It make it feel much spacier instead of having the curtain right here closed and it's just like too much small space. Not too much, but so much small space. But yeah, y'all, loving the truck so far. Everything is good. So make sure y'all like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed. And I'm going to get this video edited and I'll see y'all on the next one. I may put this video out today. It's 3.46 p.m. Hmm. I'm not sure. We'll see whenever y'all see this video. So if you stay here throughout the whole video, this right here is just a little extra special clip for me to answer some questions from the comment section. Somebody asked, well, a couple of people asked, who do my shirts? As you can see, I do them myself on my iMac. I use Photoshop. Um, I do the design. I do the colors. These shirts here, I get them from a store called Roses. They are $2.99. You can find them online, but they are a little bit more than $2.00. Um, I get the heat transfer sheets printed off, like I transfer my logo to a heat transfer sheet. Heat press it on my shirt. Once it dries, well, once it cooled down, just peel it off, and there you have it.